Hi, hello, this is Vaishnavi, Department of Journalism and Mass Communication from Usmania University. The government has announced this college, women's college, into a university. We are in front of the Koti Women's College. Now it's turning into a university. Come, let's go and have an interview with the principal. Now we are with the principal of women's college, Koti. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, ma'am, how do you feel that your college turning into a university? Yeah, it is getting upgraded to university. We are very happy. Even our students, staff, everyone is very much uh, at high level, uh, enjoying the moments, whatever we are seeing. I think you must have seen in the social media also yes. how the students have enjoyed the day when they, then it was uh, in the budget when our uh, beloved honorable vice, um, chief minister has given 100 crores for this college to be upgraded to the university. They have celebrated a lot and everybody is enjoying these moments. We are very happy for it. And also thank the chief minister for upgrading this college to the university. Ma'am, what is the vision of our university when, we when it will come to an implement? Uh, actually, we are planning to start new courses which will be very, very useful for the girl students. And also, we want to implement new vocational courses in this college so that apart from the regular curriculum, they will also take up one of the vocational courses which will be useful for their future. And also, under the human development uh, cell, we are uh, conducting new uh, uh, like uh, programs where we will be helping the students to learn new methods as to how they should face the interviews and how to write you their resumes. All these we are helping up them. And since these girls are from first generation where their parents have not been educated, now the students who are here are the first generation educated students in their family. So for them, we are uh, conducting new class, uh, classes like uh, communication, how to improve their communication skills and all those. So that way, uh, we feel that once they are finished their three years course in this uh, college, we will be helping them to understand what their requirement is after they complete their course and also how to go about for their higher education. Ma'am, are there any diploma courses that you started now or after the university will come into implement, then you will start that? We already have two diploma courses. One is uh, marriage counselling and another one is child health. Uh, and also we have two certificate courses in chemistry where it is one is forensic sciences and the other, is, another one is pharmaceutical sciences. Once this is converted into university, we have many uh, plans for diploma courses and also online uh, courses we are planning out for distance education, distance learning. Uh, Ma'am, are there any facilities for girls like uh, married girls also come here to study uh, and uh, like girls problem and all that stuff. Are you planning for that new technology to introduce to, the, to those girls? What uh, new technology are you uh, like uh, I am talking about like uh, girls problems we have now so like uh, even you said that hostels are the you are starting now uh, the hostels are only for PG students or, or UG, uh, UG and both, PG students or? UG and PG. We, are, uh, we are planning for both UG and PG we are actually asking the government to give us a hostel for mostly 3000 students so that all the students can be accommodated in the college, especially the students from rural background. 180 kilometers if they are having, then they, they can are, uh, they should be able to get the hostel facility. Uh, Ma'am, how does it feel to separate from Osmania University? <laughs> it is actually the parent university. I belong to Osmania University right now. So, it is a, again a privilege to one of the college to be uplifted to a uh, university that will also help many of the girl students to come up. Uh, Ma'am, are there any like your like staff? Uh, you are expending the staff and budgets also, right? So means the staff of Usmania University who are working here. Uh, 
मतलब दे विल नॉट वर्क हियर नो नो दे विल बी गिवेन एन ऑप्शन सो देर विल बी एन ऑप्शन फॉर्म एंड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर इंटरेस्ट वेदर दे वॉन्ट टू स्टे इन दिस और दे वॉन्ट टू गो टू देयर पेरेंट यूनिवर्सिटी इट ऑल will be left to the concerned staff whoever is working there if they want to be staying here they can stay otherwise they can go to the usman university uh, ma'am actually we are talking about gender equality and all that right how does it feel like only for women's college and it's not like gender equality they are all talking about gender equality but it's only a women's university right no man this is because uh, many of the girls who are coming are from the rural background and you know the mentality of the parents who are staying in the rural background they want their uh, children to be secured and stay in those colleges where there are only women that is a reason every state has has to have a women's uh, university that will secure the students that if they are willing to study also if their parents are not allowing to go for a co-ed education they have a possibility that there is another university where they can send their students for uh, children for education in that way if you are thinking this is one of the good platforms for such students to come and study there is no other college okay. ma'am how does it feel like you become a university when you are in rural like i am an alumni of this college I studied my UG here. I did my B B Z C in the year nineteen eighty seven to ninety. So <laughs> it is like uh, I am feeling very proud to be here in this seat as a principal when the change in this academic achievement is taking place. I am very happy for it. Mam Darbar Hall is our pride, and now it's becoming our museum too. So are there uh, like there will be a visitor a visitor hours or something like that for the outers yes we are planning it out so that the academics will not be getting disturbed and also there should be an opening for the visitors to come and visit the darbar hall and the museum so that this pride should be showcased and everybody should know that there is a certain kind of darbar hall in the women's college many of them don't know we have to tell them that there is something very important monument which is there and because of world, world um, monument fund and uh, national cultural fund we are able to revive this privilege pri- pri- uh, what we have and i am very very happy for that uh, like బయట మనం ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ చేస్తాం ఆఫ్టర్ గ్రాడ్యుయేషన్ తర్వాత చాలా హార్ష్ వరల్డ్ ఉంటుందని ఆ హార్ష్ వరల్డ్లో లైక్ గర్ల్స్కి లైక్ సెక్యూరిటీ మేనర్గా కాను మార్షల్ ఆర్ట్స్ మేనర్గా ఇలా అయినా కానీ వాళ్ళకి ఏమైనా ట్రైనింగ్స్ ఫిజికల్గా ఉంటాయా మ్యామ్ ఫిజికల్ ట్రైనింగ్స్ రైట్ నో వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ వీఆర్ ప్లానింగ్ అవుట్ యాక్చువల్లీ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద గర్ల్స్ గో టు లాల్ బహదూర్ స్టేడియం అండ్ గెట్ ట్రైన్డ్ because here itself the selections will be done and they will be sent to lal bahadur stadium but we are planning to have our own in campus training for this self defense mechanism ma'am physical structures like uh, you said that there will be more uh, you are accommodating for more than 3000 students no so there will be any like uh, you are uh, like what do you say that infrastructure uh, infrastructure and uh, you are asking them to like uh, take that ground or also no sports ground will not there will be a, sp- a sports of different sports ground will uh, will be there we are not touching sport ground but only we are asking for a big hostel which is ground plus 9 we are no going in the upward direction not uh, spreading it and one more is a classroom complex so that if we are up, uh, uh, giving new courses to the students if you are starting new courses then number of classrooms required are also more that is a reason we are asking for a uh, classroom complex as well as the uh, hostel complex hostel complex uh, when i spoke to madam education minister uh, shrimati sabita indra reddy she was rightly saying that we should have a new hostel with good technology lift facility all those things so that all the students whoever we are accommodating should be Uh, safe as well as having all the amenities whatever an international hostel should have 
so that is, those are the words given, told by um, madam sabita indra reddy garu so in the same lines we are also planning for a new hostel which will be having almost all the amenities required for this girls students thank you ma'am